Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, motorcycle video. So today we have this mini Baja Doodlebug bike that I got from a friend that I'd got it from a neighbor a long time ago. And then I bought it off of him, so for like 45 bucks, pretty cheap. And at the time it had the stock motor, and what I did was I gave the bike a repaint and then sanded it up and then put on this 196 Greyhound motor and it's basically the Predator 212 and then I bolted it from underneath and got the chain set up now there's only two bolts because the other ones didn't fit too good and I was too lazy to drill the rest but it still is very stable and I made my own chain tensioner here out of a bracket I got from Ace Hardware. And this bracket was for a light fixture. And what I did was I drilled two holes for the screws. And this is the mounting. This is for the roller, of course. And then I used these excess line for the spring, which I hooked up to this hole. And this is where the uh, chain guard used to go. I still have it, but I don't know where the original bolts were because they're very specific sized or else it'll rub against the sprocket. So the stock muffler didn't originally come on this bike. I had to buy this off of eBay or no. And yeah, it was eBay for like 10 bucks for that. It was really cheap. And then I got this, um, what was it? I swore I got something from Go Power Sports. I think it was this clutch and the chain from somewhere else. And then I know that looks really weird that I welded in that little uh, bolt in the back, just tacked it really slightly, and then I screwed these two in. Reason being is because the shaft chopped off from whenever the old clutch was on here. There was there used to be an old one. I was trying to bash it off and I eventually got it off because it was absolutely like shot on there. It was Frankenstein to get it off. So I just went ahead and cut it all up, like just whacked it off and it broke a little bit of the shaft. So it's still a little bit in there. I mean, it's enough to lock on the key. So I got it on there one way or another. So I know that's something I need to fix. But other than that, everything's pretty good. Chain tension. You can see the spring is actually not too bad. So, over on the other side, again, this was replaced, and what else? I replaced that, new line, and then I wired up this uh, little switch here so I can cut off the gas. And then here I have the carb choke and whatnot. So, I would probably get a new fixture for the air filter because I'd have no filter on here right now. So the engine still runs just fine. It's just it would run. Now it could keep it clean longer if I did. So I'll probably do that pretty soon. As goes for the throttle, I'm still using these stock throttle grips on these bikes. I know a lot of people throw them out, but I mean, they're still, it works really good. I got it tensioned with this here. I know it's also jerry rigged. But it works good. You can see the gas open up pretty much all the way back there. So, and the governor works just fine. It tracks all the way. And so, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, new tires too I got on. And I've taken, I, I will tell y'all. So, this is a 6.5 horse. The old one, which is over there, I'll show you that in a sec, is a 2.8, and it's really less than that because of how weak it is. And this thing flies off-road, and I kept the same rear sprocket. Well, I took this in trails, and it, it, it just burns into the ground from how much torque it has. It's amazing, so I often even have to slow the throttle like that and get it in. But it does awesome off-road, I'll say that. And I know there's no shocks in these mini bikes, and everyone complains about that. But they're cool mini bikes, you know. You have to build these and not you expect these, them you know, to be able to focus on the novelty of it, you know. It's just cool to mod these. So, moving on. 
So here is the old motor. It is a forgot to say the bike is actually an 07 model, so it's about 13 years old now, close to 15. So basically this motor is a 2.8 rated supposedly. It's broken because the entire rod that goes in there to hold the carburetor in place just broke. So I'm going to have to do some weird welding stuff. And over here, the pull string still works. I painted the engine enamel red on the bottom part, but it's kind of dusty. Clutch is okay. I just feel like it's kind of shot. And then this motor is just so small. Like, it's so weak. There's the oil. So... This motor, like, it's a good motor for, like, putting on a scooter or something, but it doesn't cut it for a bike because, you know, they, back in the day, they used to make these bikes look like they, they were off-roading bikes, but they were really just kids' learner, like, front yard grass bikes. I mean, they were still able to hit around 20 to 25, but, I mean, here and there, people mod these everywhere and you get so much more power so I have a video of me riding this bike um, before I put the new uh, coil on it was a little bit dirtier so I'm just gonna let y'all watch that video to show you how it goes and I'm not gonna do it's not top speed in that video but it's more of like a horsepower and just chill ride type thing so if y'all wanna watch that y'all can and that will be right after this. So stay tuned and hope y'all guys enjoyed this build. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe.